Hi guys, welcome to Animeized. This is the English translated version of the novel Throne of Seal. The novel differs slightly from the Chinese animation or Dong Hua. If you want more of these videos, please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Enjoy and have a blessed day. Liu Xi frowned slightly and said, Both of you, this may not be a good idea. If all four demon hunting squads gather together, there will be more than 20 people. It will attract strong enemies easily, but it will easily attract strong enemies. Yang Wenzhao smiled slightly and said, Brother Lu, you're mistaken. We don't necessarily have to stick closely together during coordinated action. We can watch out for each other. Long Haochen looked at the other demon hunting squads, who had already entered the city, and quickly said, In that case, let's all enter the city together. When we encounter danger, we'll use a long whistle to alert each other. We'll support each other. Let's change our equipment. The last three words were directed at his companions. So, under the astonished gazes of the other three demon hunting squads, the seven members of Commander Level Number 21 Demon Hunting Squad, who were originally in sturdy attire, instantly transformed gracefully. They put on one dazzling piece of equipment after another, radiating rich spiritual power fluctuations. Among them, the most awe-inspiring was naturally Long Haochen himself, the Dark Golden. Brilliant Holy Armor and Brilliant Holy Shield, along with the shining blue rain and light lotus, three pieces of brilliant level equipment on his body, were incredibly stunning, especially when the brilliant holy armor and brilliant holy shield were equipped together. They emitted a faint golden glow that covered his entire body, blending seamlessly. Set bonus, the brilliance has naturally formed. Moreover, Long Haochen directly handed the light punishment to Han Yu, all by himself, displaying four pieces of brilliant level equipment. Among the other six members of Commander Level Number 21 Demon Hunting Squad, except for Chen Air who was holding Mikdal the little pig and didn't change her equipment. Everyone else had at least one piece of brilliant level equipment. They were all newly formed demon hunting squads, and they couldn't help but envy the equipment Long Haochen and his team had. Who wouldn't be jealous? Even Yang Wenzhao couldn't help but swallow his saliva in envy. At the same time, he felt a pang of regret in his heart. These were all the merits they had won that day. He really missed out. Long Haochen also knew that they were displaying a high profile. But they were about to face the chaotic situation inside Jingnan Pass where the circumstances were unknown. Their goal wasn't to kill as many enemies as possible, but to survive in this chaotic battlefield. How could they afford to hold back in such a situation? Let's go. Into the city. The four teams quickly entered the city, although Yang Wenzhao and Duan Yi didn't explicitly express their stance. But at this moment, they chose to follow Long Haochen's command. They just didn't go as odd as Lu Xi did. At least, the two demon hunting squads led by Yang Wenzhao and Duan Yi maintained their original formation. But Lu Xi had the Commander Level Number 22 Demon Hunting Squad completely reorganize its formation. They merged into the Commander Level Number 21 Demon Hunting Squad. Shield Warrior Dian Yan took the front position, directly positioning herself at Long Haochen's side, while Li Xin stood on Long Haochen's other side. Lu Xi by Xia Mo and Yi Jun, on the other hand, rudely squeezed into the center of the team, because with the addition of Li Xin and Dian Yan, there was more space available within the formation. Assassin Han Daoxi directly concealed himself in the rear, the implication being quite clear, that he was going to cooperate with Han Yu for defense. Long Haochen walked at the very front, and Chai Er had returned to his back, originally. According to Long Haochen's intention, he wanted to cover her within the brilliant holy armor, but Chai Er vehemently refused. She only agreed to let Long Haochen carry her on his back. Although she had lost her four senses, but as the saintess of reincarnation, she hadn't completely lost her combat ability. At this moment, Chai Er silently clung to Long Haochen's back, as if she had no weight at all, her long legs wrapped around Long Haochen's waist, her hands embracing his neck, trying her best not to hinder Long Haochen's movements. Although there were many combinations of knights and assassins, but the way they were going into battle, other demon hunting squads had never seen before. However, no one questioned it. They had all witnessed Chai Er's strength. If she hadn't withdrawn, it would have been hard to say who would have been the champion of the demon hunting squad selection competition. As they entered Jingnan Pass, Long Haochen instinctively looked up at the sky. The sky at this moment displayed a magnificent scene, with various dazzling lights twisting and fluctuating in the air, as if countless brilliant fireworks were frozen in the blue sky. Of course, those weren't fireworks, but the most intense areas of the war, where the true superpowers of both sides were, although they couldn't see what was happening in the sky. Long Haochen could vaguely sense that. Once Han Qian and the others arrived in time, the current situation in the sky should be evenly matched for the time being. At least for a short time, the Temple Alliance could hold its ground. After all, they had entered Jingnan Pass from the rear, and the demon race had not yet reached their location. The entire city gave off a cold and desolate feeling. There wasn't a single civilian on the streets, only the reinforcements who had just entered the city. In the distance, many houses were burning intensely, 
mixed with a burnt smell and a nauseating scent of blood. It was nauseating. Yang Wenzhao and Duani led their teams into the city after entering, immediately splitting up to each side, falling slightly behind. They maintained a defensive formation with Long Haochen's team. At this moment, they all had some doubts in their minds. No matter how you looked at it, Lu Xi's team had already been promoted to commander level, but Lu Xi willingly integrated his team into Long Haochen's, essentially relinquishing control of his own team. He completely surrendered the initiative of his own team. You could even say they became subordinates of commander level number 21 demon hunting squad. This couldn't be explained by trust alone. Long Haochen summoned Hao Yu, placing it at the core of the team. Chen Yin Air and Lin Sin naturally sat on Hao Yu's back. As for Lu Xi's team, they didn't receive such favorable treatment. They followed closely around Hao Yu. The group continued to advance, and the smell of blood in the air grew stronger. However, when they finally saw the situation on the battlefield, they couldn't help but shudder, not out of fear, but from a tremor deep within their souls. It was just too gruesome. Any war entering the urban combat phase was the most difficult and brutal, especially when both sides had no intention of surrender and would fight to the last man. The demon army had a clear advantage, whether it's the sky or the ground, occupying at least 70% of the offensive, with the entire middle section of Xingnan Pass covered in their forces. The number of Temple Alliance warriors was significantly fewer, but they used their bodies, and even their teeth, to staunchly resist the demon army's assault. The thick blood stained the battlefield, and both the air and ground felt damp from the flowing blood. The flowing blood even brought a sense of dampness. The rich surge of spiritual power caused the magical elements in the battlefield to frenzy and you could constantly see limbs and body parts flying through the air. The roars, cries, and the bloody death wails were all deeply unsettling. All of this was shaking people's hearts. In such an atmosphere and scene, whether it was the composed Long Haochen or the fiercely determined Shima Xian, everyone's eyes gradually turned red. All fear was dispelled by the surging, frenzied determination within them. Throwing heads and spilling hot blood was necessary to set the mood. And at this moment, without a doubt, the atmosphere here had reached its peak. Charge! Long Haochen shouted explosively, taking the lead, and charging forward with long strides, but as the captain. Even at this moment, he still maintained a certain level of composure. Maintain formation, everyone. This was the only order he could give at this moment. Splatter. The body of a human warrior was torn apart by a bloodthirsty maniacal demon of the Wrathful Wave clan. Blood and organs scattered and flew in all directions, creating a small gap in the human defense line and four or five formidable bloodthirsty maniacal demons of the Wrathful Wave clan seized this opportunity to charge forward. Long Haochen's chosen point of entry into the battle was precisely this. It's often said that a dike can be breached by ants. Once the enemy broke through their formation, it could very well become uncontrollable. Charge. They exerted force with their feet, and Long Haochen initiated the charge with large strides. Simultaneously, amidst shining golden light, Yu Ting had already taken flight, hovering in a position diagonally above his back. Circular golden auras emanated from beneath Long Haochen's feet, representing the auras of faith, protective blessing, and strong strike. These three auras instantly enveloped all members of Commander Level Number 21 and Number 22 Demon Hunting Squads. Among the demon races, the bloodthirsty maniacal demons were known for their ferocity in battle, and the one in the front, who had just torn apart a human warrior, watched as Long Haochen approached. It let out a vicious growl, and the thick spikes on its arms charged directly at Long Haochen. Boom! The Radiant Shield, along with its powerful shield spells, activated, and Long Haochen's shield blocking and counter impact also activated. The newly acquired brilliant grade equipment immediately gleamed with captivating brilliance. A solid layer of white light appeared on the surface of the shield, forming a massive sacred hexagram diamond pattern. Long Haochen's charge suddenly transformed into an assault. And in that thunderous collision, he collided head-on with the maniacal demon. To their surprise, Long Haochen managed to send the massive demon flying with his charge, crashing into several other maniacal demons behind it. And in that moment, the blue rain, light lotus in Long Haochen's right hand radiated a dazzling brilliance. It cascaded down like a river of mercury, enveloping the nearby maniacal demons. Demon slash. Amidst the piercing splatter sounds, demon slash, with its potent penetrating power thanks to Radiance Ripple, how could those maniacal demons possibly evade such swift attacks, their bodies convulsing as they trembled within demon slash? Droplets of blood sprayed from their bodies. Let's not forget, Long Haochen was not fighting alone. The Golden Red Cross slash was unleashed powerfully, as their cultivation reached the fifth rank, and the Hells Rose, ridden by the Rose Unicorn, displayed its might. Li Sin's pair of flame double swords erupted with formidable combat power fueled by her bright holy power. When Long Haochen taught Radiance Ripple initially, both Li Sin and Wang Yuan Yuan found it very difficult to learn, but they persevered, unlike Dian Yan and Han Daosi who gave up. In the period when Long Haochen went to the Moon Demon Palace, both of these persevering girls managed to learn this powerful support skill, and Long Haochen's skill will undoubtedly benefit them for a lifetime. 
At this moment, the cross slash released by Lee Sin was boosted by the effects of Radiance Ripple. After all, she was a retribution knight, attack was everything for her. A maniacal demon trembling under demon slash was instantly cut into four pieces, and Radiance Ripple had a least doubled Lee Sin's attack power. Moreover, now she had broken through to the fifth rank, and she had taken a Holy Spirit pill, with an internal spiritual power cultivation exceeding 3,000. Compared to when they went to complete the Cave of Fearful Wailing mission initially, there had been a qualitative leap. But it wasn't just her who unleashed a sudden burst of attack. Shima Sien had long been unable to contain himself, and when Long Houchen sent the maniacal demon flying, Shima Sien's massive power pill of light flew out as well. A dazzling dark golden light radiated in the air, and when the massive metal ball flew out, even Long Houchen's line of sight was obscured. By its size, what happened next was like a scene from a bowling alley, as if they were playing a game of bowling, and the remaining four maniacal demons were blasted away in an explosive rumble. Sent flying altogether, the maniacal demon in the front bore the brunt of the attack, becoming the first sacrifice to the power pill of light. Its body was directly turned into minced meat, not even a complete bone remained. The other maniacal demons were also severely wounded. The spatial magic cast by Ijun took care of them in midair. Shima Sien laughed maniacally, the iron ball colliding with flesh balls. So satisfying. Among the Wrathful Wave clan, the hierarchy was as follows, maniacal demons, bloodthirsty maniacal demons, and crimson blood maniacal demons. Although bloodthirsty maniacal demons couldn't compare to the most powerful crimson blood maniacal demons, their cultivation was on par with fifth-rank human warriors. When four or five bloodthirsty maniacal demons gathered together, their combined offensive power was formidable. However, in the face of Long Houchen and his team of thirteen, even just four of them unleashed their full strength, they easily resolved the battle. The powerful knight at the front line, the retribution knight with terrifying burst damage, and that priest. With the addition of follow-up spatial magic, just as Lu Xi had said they had worked together before, so they naturally had good coordination. Every member of Commander Level No. 22 Demon Hunting Squad positioned themselves perfectly. They prioritized providing support to Commander Level No. 21 Demon Hunting Squad. They didn't steal the limelight. They gave their all in support. They followed Long Houchen's commands and everything. Their goal was to eliminate the bloodthirsty. Maniacal demons. But Long Houchen's face showed no hint of joy. The bloodshed of their enemies didn't drive him to madness. Instead, he remained calm. Once again, it was a charging skill, firmly blocking the gap that had just been opened. And Blue Rain, Light Lotus in his right hand burst into full Radiance Ripple mode, forcibly stopping the demon army charging in their direction. Those few bloodthirsty maniacal demons had been the strongest among the demons at the front, and those following behind them were just regular maniacal demons of the Wrathful Wave clan, but in the face of Long Houchen's Radiance Ripple. These regular maniacal demons were no match at all. A single Radiance Ripple had killed at least a dozen. Demons. The pressure in the front had suddenly lightened, Switch to a defensive formation. No one is to advance recklessly. Long Houchen shouted loudly. The team's formation also changed under his command. Li Xin and Wang Yuan Yuan were on Long Houchen's left, Shima Xian and Dian Yan were on Long Houchen's right. The five of them lined up in a row, like a wall blocking the demon army in front of them. The magic class professions behind them also began chanting spells rapidly. Lin Xin became the busiest person, don't be fooled by the fact that he can't attack, he's actually a master at defense. Elemental fire shields quickly fell on the five in front. From the first elemental fire shield to the fifth, it took only a short ten seconds. Not to mention fifth rank, even sixth rank fire mages might not be able to do this. The fire crystal staff held by Lin Sin has completely changed in appearance. He now calls it the fire crystal staff, though he doesn't admit he did it for convenience. The staff is entirely silver and radiant, with the original fire crystal completely enveloped inside. Only about a foot of it is exposed at the top. Intricate magical patterns are etched all over the staff. The staff's creator didn't waste any fire crystal using mithril mixed with special metals to craft it. Most of the fire crystal is encased inside. It's also engraved with three solidified spells. High quality materials are essential for making powerful equipment. And Lin Sin's fire crystal is of exceptional quality, enough to support three solidified spells. Among these three spells, the one that satisfies Lin Sin the most is the one that reduces the chanting time of fire spells below fifth rank by half. The other two are attack branches that he attached to compensate for his lack of offensive magic. However, they have a limited number of uses each day, and he won't use them lightly. But they are both 6th rank fire spells. Therefore, his fire crystal staff is already approaching legendary status. At this moment, using the fire magic attached to his staff, he cast elemental fire shields as if it were second nature, his control over fire elements was quite impressive, and with the staff's enhancement, he could freely wield various spells, covering his entire body in a translucent fiery red aura. Making him the most dazzling among the magic class professions. Chin Yi Nair and the Radiant Lin Sin were quite the opposite. This girl was sitting directly on Hao Yu's back, 
then raised her small fist in her right hand and shouted. Go, go. Beat them. Yeah, that's right, that's all she did. It's not that she didn't want to join the battle. But it was a matter of her role within the team. McDull's power is based on consuming mana crystals. Moreover, McDull can't always fight. Once it's injured, even if it consumes a lot of mana crystals, its strength still suffers. Therefore, this consumable power is considered a backup for the team. It's only used in critical moments. So, for now, Chen Yin Air, who is tightly protected at the core, can only cheer from the sidelines. Yan Wen Zhao and Duan Yi's teams are separated on both sides, finding opportunities to join the battle directly. The addition of the four demon hunting squads instantly improved the situation on this battlefield, especially when several mages in the teams cast powerful spells, providing some breathing room for the original defenders. However, the demon's assault was extremely fierce, not only in great numbers, but also consisting mostly of middle to high ranking demons. Surprisingly, not a single dual wielding demon appeared. In melee, ranged, and aerial combat, they coordinated on all fronts, under intense pressure, the human defense line remained in a precarious situation. On Long Houchen's side, their defense was the most solid, as he was the team's core, with his brilliant holy shield in front of him. He didn't seek glory, his focus was on defense. He didn't need to worry about those below fifth rank demons, Shima Xian by his side could take care of them completely. It must be said, after adding two pieces of suitable brilliant equipment, Shima Xian's role in the team underwent a significant change. The power pill of light was just perfect for him, making him overwhelmingly powerful against middle to lower grade demons. With every strike, he could take the lives of several demons at least, and they wouldn't even leave behind complete corpses. Demons also have some intelligence, even the lower grade demons have survival instincts. The power of Shima Xian's giant iron ball was truly formidable, to the point that middle to lower grade demons instinctively avoided his path, so their defense became much easier as a result. However, precisely because of their strong performance, it drew the attention of powerful demons. A massive blood-red figure suddenly descended from the sky, and its target was none other than Shima Xian. This blood shadow descended with incredible speed. While Shima Xian was in the midst of a fierce battle, he suddenly felt a strong smell of blood and a chilling aura from above. Although his power pill of light was powerful, it had its flaws, because of its tremendous weight, it affected his speed when using it. If he tried to defend now, it would be a feat to keep the power pill of light above his head. However, Shima Xian seemed completely unaffected by the threat from above and he once again swung the power pill of light horizontally, smashing several charging demon warriors. A white light gleamed, and the crimson light in the air suddenly changed direction when it was less than five meters away from Shima Xian. The attack that should have targeted Shima Xian encountered a shield gleaming with a hexagram of white light. Brilliant holy shield, shield arts, divine guard block. Of course, Shima Xian was aware that the aerial attack might endanger his life, but he faced the threat with calmness, thanks to trust. Naturally, Long Haochen wouldn't let his comrade down, he activated the Holy Guiding Spirit Furnace, redirecting the descending attack toward himself. Amidst the deafening roar, Long Haochen took a slight step back, and his body radiated with golden light, as he swung out with his right hand, wielding the blue rain, Light Lotus. This strike held nothing back, directly tapping into the stored power of the Holy Sword branch he had acquired through Flower in the Mirror and Moon in the Water, launching an attack known as Daylight Slash, and it was accompanied by the power of Radiance Ripple. Three skills combined, naturally not without purpose. By gauging the opponent's attack strength, Long Haochen can assess the opponent's strength. Blocking an enemy strike, the shield arts on the brilliant holy shield nearly crumbled, and the divine guard block wasn't fully released, causing Long Haochen to step back half a pace. 7th rank. How could Long Haochen be pressured like this without 7th rank cultivation? At this moment, a blood-red figure appeared, a sight well known to commander levels 21 and 22 demon hunting squads, their main adversary during the cave of fearful wailing mission. Demons. Furthermore, the demon before them was unmistakably a seventh rank demon lord, the same being that had deprived Chai Air of her four senses. In demon lord's hand was a blood red heavy sword blocked directly by Long Haochen's divine guard block, with his wings at the back maintaining balance. Long Haochen's blue rain, light lotus, had already slashed towards him. Not only that, on the other side, Li Sin's attack followed immediately. Equally a daylight slash, but gleaming with sunfire and bearing radiance ripple. Li Sin's pair of flame giant swords were extraordinary, not of brilliant great equipment but rather of the spiritual magic grade, and she had recently switched to them. Coupled with her own spiritual power exceeding 3,000, her casting speed of sunfire was twice that of an ordinary knight. Demon Lord instinctively took a step back, holding his blood-red giant sword horizontally. Long Houchens. Attack was a step ahead of Li Sin's, arriving first, the evolved blue rain, light lotus was incredibly sharp, and the power of the radiance ripple version of the holy sword was unmistakable at this moment. Amidst the brilliance of the daylight slash, Demon Lord's blood-red giant sword was directly cleaved in two. Though Long Haochen was also pushed back half a step by the enormous recoil, 
his offensive couldn't continue. However, Li Sin's daylight slash struck Demon Lord with full force. Demon Lord let out a wretched cry, as a powerful red light emanated from his body, blasting Li Sin away, but on his left shoulder and chest. An astonishing wound remained, and the light elements. Strong corrosive effect on his dark body emitted billows of smoke. Almost simultaneously, three spells struck Demon Lord. None of them were attack spells. There was the wind-based wind restraint, the fire-based flame cage, and the light-based light restraint. The purpose of these three skills was one and the same, to restrain Demon Lord. These three skills were not of particularly high rank, but, as they were of three different elements combined, and the light-based light restraint had a natural suppression effect on Demon Lord's attributes. Even if he wanted to break free from these three spells, Demon Lord still needed more than a second. It was precisely in this moment that Demon Lord suddenly felt a powerful threat approaching head-on, and he regretted his lack of equipment. Despite his seventh rank power, apart from his broken blood red giant sword, he had no other equipment. In this moment, Demon Lord's formidable combat talent led him to make the right choice. He didn't retreat, and he didn't even attempt to break free from those three restraining spells. Instead, his entire body shone with a strong dark red light. The dark red light bursting from Demon Lord's body made him instantly translucent, especially in the torso area, and it was as transparent as a dark red gem. This was the seventh rank elemental body, a capability possessed by both humans and demons, which could instantly enhance their offensive and defensive abilities. At this moment, Demon Lord chose to boost his defense, and with a thunderous roar, a colossal shield, as heavy as an axe, and a massive metal ball were hurled simultaneously. Leveraging the elemental body's amplification, Demon Lord attacked with both fists, smashing these two formidable weapons. Two muffled grunts echoed at the same time, Wang Yuan Yuan and Shima Xian each took three steps back. And golden light simultaneously gleamed on the seven members of the commander level number 21 demon hunting. Squad, as the soul chain of shared life distributed the recoil damage suffered by the two. However, the demon lord didn't fare well either, as his upper body was lifted by the impact, and his fists were covered in blurred flesh. Thanks to the Holy Spirit Pills enhancement, Wang Yuan Yuan's spiritual power cultivation had long surpassed 3,500. The shield of giant god's demon-breaking effect was incredibly potent. Moreover, both she and Shima Sien coincidentally employed Radiance Ripple, plus the Power Pill of Light's shattering effect. Even a seventh-rank demon lord could only defend himself, unable to effectively counterattack. However, it was precisely at this moment that a look of terror appeared on the demon lord's ferocious face. A brilliant golden light descended from above, as if it were cleaving heaven and earth apart in an instant. What was even more terrifying was that he still hadn't managed to break free from those three restraining spells, yet the air was filled with immense pressure. The intense pressure made it impossible for Demon Lord to break free. Gah! Demon Lord's mouth emitted a sharp, piercing scream, as a strong dark red flame suddenly appeared on his already damaged fists. This attack could be said to have exhausted all of his strength. He was acutely aware of the mortal threat posed by that golden light. However, what astonished him was that the dark red flame he had blasted with his fist was split into two by that heaven-cleaving golden light, unmatched in sharpness, and it directly cut into his fists. After all, Demon Lord was at the seventh rank of cultivation, facing a life-or-death crisis. His body, under the influence of the wings on his back, suddenly twisted like a twist, and his arms, at the topmost point, also maximized the power of the elemental body. Puff, blood, splattered, and shattered flesh, limbs, and thick black blood scattered in all directions. Under that forceful blow, Demon Lord's arms were completely shattered, however, even as he paid the price of his arms, he managed to cling to life. One of the spikes on his head was cut off, along with a piece of skull that flew out, and his entire right shoulder was completely cleaved off, causing a spray of flesh, and copious amounts of blood drifted in the air. The one who produced such a terrifying blow was undoubtedly, Long Haochen, utilizing his Azura Strike, which required the use of both hands and consumed as much as a thousand spiritual energy. Furthermore, it was an Azura Strike with Radiance. Ripple. The three binding spells cast earlier were a well-coordinated effort between Hao Yu and Long Haochen. The attacks from Shima Xian and Wan Yuan Yuan were merely icing on the cake. Long Haochen's Azura Strike was the real fatal blow. Demon Lord's appearance caused Long Haochen's previously calm eyes to instantly return to red. He seemed to see again the culprit who had caused Chai Air to lose her four senses. When this Azura Strike was unleashed, the whole person's spirit and intense. Killing intent fused perfectly, resulting in the most powerful attack he had ever made. It was at moments like these that the importance of weapon equipment became evident, both in terms of the number of strong individuals. Where humans were far inferior to the demons, explaining how they had been able to contend with the demons for 6,000 years, not only avoiding complete annihilation, but also gradually accumulating strength and the possibility of counterattacking, it was all because of the excellence of their weapon equipment. Humans had magic cannons, various ancient methods for making equipment passed down through generations, 
and skilled craftsmen. What about the demons? Demons struggled with even basic food problems, and they needed wars to consume their population. It can be said that over the past 6,000 years, the overall strength of the demons hasn't increased significantly. While humans have been steadily progressing, the formidable power of the seventh-ranked demon lord, if equipped with a set of magnificent gear suited for him, even Long Houchen's group of 13, might not necessarily win. However, at this very moment, under Long Houchen's formidable weaponry and skills, he had been directly injured. A black figure suddenly burst forth from behind Long Houchen, akin to a black lightning bolt, charging towards the severely wounded demon lord who was retreating. Her speed was truly astonishing, to the extent that it left a series of afterimages behind her. Demon Lord instinctively raised his remaining arm, and with great effort, gathered some spiritual power to throw a punch. But the black figure suddenly became illusory right in front of him. From Long Houchen and their position, they could see that the black figure suddenly split into two in midair, and a pitch black radiance quietly appeared behind Demon Lord's head. If it were Demon Lord in his prime, he might have been able to withstand this attack with elemental body. But his elemental body had already been broken by Long Houchen's Azura strike earlier. How much strength could he muster now? What was even more shocking? The black shadow struck by Demon Lord's punch suddenly solidified, and following Demon Lord's arm, surged forward like lightning. Two black shadows instantly merged in midair, and if one were a bit further away, they would have seen a black ray of light instantly turning into a black dot on Demon Lord's head. Demon Lord's retreating body suddenly froze in place, his raised right arm going limp and hanging down, his life force gushing out. And it seemed he wouldn't survive. The tip of the black shadow's foot touched its shoulder, causing Demon Lord to fall to the ground and she used the rebound force to instantly retreat. Long Houchen quickly raised his left hand, and a faint golden light shone. He had just used the Azura strike earlier, temporarily retracting his brilliant holy shield, with his sword in his right hand now, leaving his left hand free. The black shadow instantly landed on his right hand, a slender white hand touching his right hand. Long Houchen pulled and shook his hand, and the black shadow had quietly disappeared behind him, leaving only a pair of long legs around his waist. Undoubtedly, it was Chai Air who delivered the final blow to Demon Lord. Despite having lost her four senses, it didn't mean Chai Air had lost her fighting ability. On the contrary, during the months when she lost her three senses, with Long Houchen by her side, she didn't feel lonely, and in her inner peace and contentment, her strength had actually improved. The recent Shadow clone was already significantly different from the previous ones, with its attack power further enhanced. Long Houchen didn't have time to blame Chai Air now, as Chai Air had timed her attack perfectly, and when he had raised his left hand earlier, he had released light elements, acting as a beacon for Chai Air, who only had her senses of touch and feel. Demon Lord's death greatly deterred the demons charging towards them. He was a seventh-ranked powerhouse, yet he had only lasted a few moments against Long Houchen and his group, and under the sudden reduction of pressure, Long Houchen and his group momentarily lost their opponents. The war was raging on, and the frenzy of killing hadn't diminished with their participation. In fact, it had escalated further. This was the main battlefield, and they weren't the only newcomers to join the reinforcements. From the hunting tower joined the battle from various directions. Each demon hunting squad was composed of elite members of the alliance, and their arrival gradually shifted the previously one-sided battle towards a more balanced one. Moreover, 5,000 reinforcements from the six great temples had quickly joined the fray. A large amount of healing light radiated in the air, courtesy of collective healing from the priests, boosting the morale of the Jingnan Pass soldiers who had been fighting hard. At that moment, the demon forces were unable to advance any further. Boss, shall we charge forward? Suddenly without opponents, Shima Sien's bloodthirsty eyes revealed a strong desire. 